I guess so I started this account, William Needham Finley the Fourth, as this sort of satirical, over the top kind of uh, wealthy kid in, in North Carolina. Um, and it just sort of played to a local audience. And then um, I thought it'd be funny to kind of look at the influencer angle. And so going to Fire Festival to become the most influential influencer and kind of just be on the island of influencers was sort of the, the joke. And then uh, when I got there, I just, just kind of turned into reporting what was happening. Uh, before we get to that, did you meet any influencers, though, on the way? Did they know who you were? Oh, of course not. I mean, I'm, you know, my audience is local. I had 5,000 followers, and it's all kind of inside jokes in, in Raleigh. And um, so it was funny that, uh, I don't know, I kind of got swept up in this, and this stuff went viral, and it's, you know, I don't really have that big of a following at all, so... When you started reporting on everything that was uh, happening there, I mean, essentially, we see in the documentary, like, on your way, you find out that Blink-182 is canceled, but maybe this thing can kind of still go, because who knows? When you got there and started reporting on it, did it feel like a snowball effect, like it just got more and more shocking? Yeah, I mean, each thing just was more and more ridiculous. First, you're, you see the site, it's not finished. You think, well, maybe there's another section that is ready or something, and they're still getting this together. And then you see the lines, and then Billy's on the table, and then it's the tent free-for-all, and then you're trying to find your luggage off the back of a shipping container in the dark, and then, you know, uh, someone's standing next to me, and uh, did you did you take a shower? Yeah, but don't don't open your mouth, the water's green. You know, it's just stuff like that. I'm like, where'd you even find a shower, you know, so... Was um, there a part of you, as someone who would, had created an influencer account, a fake influencer account, to make fun of this sort of, the idea of social media influencers, did you, was there a part of you that even though you were there and suffering through it, you felt vindicated that this festival built off of the, like, influencer marketing was a total sham and a failure? Well, I mean, I, I guess I didn't I didn't want it to fail. You know, I mean, you wanted it to to be this successful thing that you thought you were going on just because I wanted to see what the whole, you know, like, how does this world work? How do these people monetize their identities and their brands and them and their lives um, and just kind of, you know, talk about that? I think leading up to it, it I would tweet it. Um, companies and be like, I'm going to go to Fire Festival. Um, please send me some some merchandise. I'm an influencer, <laughs> you know, because you just say I'm an influencer and you're an influencer. But uh, you need that actual following, like the real people who make a living off of this. And you, you have to have tens of thousands of followers to actually make this a full time job. So I don't necessarily think I, I wanted it to fail or I felt vindicated. It was just kind of like I just went into reporting mode to to just say this is what's going on and. Um, I don't know, maybe it is indicative of what Instagram versus reality is, is like, but...